Welcome to King's Peak English Language Arts Creative Writing. Creative writing is creativity is the brain's invisible muscle that, when used in exercise routinely, becomes better and stronger. Ashley Ormond. Creative writing is writing comes out of the rift between what we have experienced and the language we've been given to express it. We write to bridge this divide to find words adequate for our sense of reality. Creative writing is a search for and creation of a language that will express what the writer unconsciously knows but does not have the language to express. What is creative writing? It can include poetry, drama, short stories, novels, and even certain kinds of nonfiction. It involves most of the modes of writing description, narrative, lyric, persuasion. What is good writing then? If we can't have an easy definition of creative writing, maybe we can figure out what good writing is. Good writing is honest. Students should write openly and freely about topics they choose and care about. Think of an issue that bothers you, makes you angry, or scares you. Write freely about that issue. In your paper, offer solutions that you think can make it better. Also include what is currently to be done about it. You need to be honest. What is good writing? Good writing makes the reader see. Writers need to transfer images and ideas from their own minds to those of the audience. In order to make the reader see an incident, a memory, or an idea, a good writer has to focus on specific incidents. What is good writing? Many beginning writers tend to summarize or generalize. I remember all the great times my brothers, cousins, and I had together. We swim, fish, and get in trouble. We laugh a lot too. Let us see those times. What are the names of your brothers? What did they specifically do to get into trouble? How did they laugh? Good writers show, not tell. And this is not as simple as the cliche makes it sound. Showing is a matter of vivid descriptions. While one can use modifiers such as adverbs and adjectives, they are like spice. They can be used creatively, but sparingly. Description based in good verbs. This is true regardless of the genre. Use action verbs as opposed to linking verbs. What is something doing? How is it acting? Not just what it is. For example, the student is worried about the test versus Ellie worries about each pencil mark, chewing her nails as the clock ticks. See the difference? Good writing is specific. A reader sees a Daisy BB gun is better than a toy gun. A 49 Chevy is better than my car. Another student wrote, This very special person in my life, my grandfather, our relationship was really special. But he had a stroke and he's changed so much it makes me sad. We need to see the grandfather. What did he do? What did he say? How was the relationship special? The writer begins listing facts and as they accumulated, she creates a more vivid picture. Good writing builds. Beginning writers often give away too much information early on in the writing. For example, when I was nine, I had a bad experience at a resort. Something I will never forget is when my cat died, or when I was five, I really did a stupid thing. By beginning this way, the readers remove all elements of surprise. As a particular game begins, they don't know where they were going to do, or say something silly, or have that particular experience. As writers, you need to keep some information from the audience until the appropriate time. You need to plan and shape this in your final draft. Part of the impulse to give too much away at the beginning comes from modeling writing on essays, usually scientific essays, which state their theme and topic sentences or claims at the beginning or at the end of a paragraph. These paragraphs are called topical paragraphs, but creative writing doesn't always work this way. Most of the paragraphs or stanzas are functional. They have a single idea, but don't necessarily state it directly. They build to the idea. Good writing experiments with language. Good writers make good word choices naturally. They rely on a thesaurus, adding and substituting words. to use the repetition of sounds, personifications, and other forms of speech usefully. The student is made aware of the sounds of his words. I ran through the woods. My gun jangled from a hundred BBs bouncing inside. I was a big 
Hunter stalking his prey, a flock of songbirds fitted through the trees. I shot at them and they darted from limb to limb. Notice noisy words like jangled, beating, bouncing, and good verbs like flitted and darted. What I said about verbs. Good writing experiments with language. Another personifies the dark to describe her fear as she sits alone in the living room during a storm. The wind screams her agony through the fireplace, sending the whitish gray ash waltzing upon the carpet. I am a perfect ice maiden, frozen to my stone chair. Even the picture window shutters, afraid of the dark. Rain joining forces with dark sends millions of tiny footsteps hurrying across the ground. The ceiling glitters and evil flicker as the doorknob trembles and rattles. Good writing often uses contrast. A student writing about her grandfather creates a powerful picture showing the reader what he had been like earlier and what he is like following the stroke. This use of contracts works well. Another student writing about a funeral of a grandmother uses contrast within a single sentence. Grandmother's long brown casket with gold trim looked soft and comfortable, but she looked uncomfortable. Good writing frequently includes strong repetition. For example, last week my Uncle Richie phoned my mom and said, Grandma is sick and getting worse. He explained that one night he went to pick her up for church and found her sitting in the rocking chair holding a crucifix. He hadn't gotten dressed and didn't have the energy to get up. Mom is going to New York soon to see Grandma. He said I could go along since I am very close to her and there might not be another chance to see her, but I am not going. I am not going because Grandma's tickets for me last year and all the good times and talks are her way of saying goodbye to me. That's how I want to remember her. A short, plump woman standing in the airport, pressed up against the window, waving both arms, crying and saying over and over, I love you. I love you. Good writing causes something to happen for the audience. It may simply be the recognition of a like experience. It may be laughter, a lump in the throat, or a nod of a group. While conventions and punctuation are important, they are not the most important part of good writing. A good writer knows her audience needs and can adjust accordingly. A good writer knows almost all rules are merely guidelines and can be broken for effect. You're going to define good writing and creative writing for yourself.